Hello again, folks. After spending some time in the ASC Rescue Park in 1770, we drive a short distance to the Captain Cook Memorial. That's where I use the handheld GoPro to show and tell you about where Captain Cook landed with his crew. I also put some photos of the memorial and the signs. It's a very short step down to the beach where you can have a pleasant walk with a fantastic view and mull over this uh, historical event. On the day it was a bit windy so I do apologize for some of the windy noise on the footage but the video editor had some trouble filtering it out and I didn't want to re-record a voiceover. So, here we go. We are standing here on the beach where Captain James Cook came into this bay called uh, Buston Bay and put ashore here, leeward of this point. So this is the second landing which occurred in Australia on the 24th of May 1770. So, Endeavour would have been uh, at anchor out here in the bay and they would have rolled in here on a boat apparently came here to this headland and then leave out here where the beaches and these rocks they would have landed Precisely where they landed the boat is not known, but definitely on this side here. So, Captain Cook went ashore. They did see a number of uh, fires, which were probably Aborigines. They didn't meet any Aborigines. One of the things Captain Cook noticed here was a big bird, ground bird, which in England exists and is called a bastard. And they thought this bird looks very much like the bastard from England. 
and uh, Captain's men killed one of them and when Captain Cook looked at it he thought well we'll call the bay Busted Bay so killing of the bird gave the name to this place apart from that uh, the town here draws its name from the year of the landing 1770 it's probably one of the only towns in the world that has a numerical name, so to speak. So, it's been nice to come here and see what Captain Cook saw in 1770, although things probably have changed, as nature does.